cool. Hey friends, I'm back here at TGU 2019 with the lovely Jürgen from Isotope and we're now having a look at the Isotope RX software. So, what we're looking at here is absolute wizardry in software of audio repair. I'm going to say audio repair, but it's actually much, much more than that. The wizardry extends to audio processing and managing background sounds, being able to remix things. So it's not just audio repair. You can do all kind of digital, magical wizardry with this thing. So. Tell us a little bit more about it. What are we seeing at the moment? This is a waveform. This is a waveform. This is the RX editor. There are also plugins you could use in a, a music door or a video editor. Yeah. But there is uh, also our own editor, and we can see here the waveform as we uh, usually um, work. Yeah. And I would just want to play back what is it here because we don't know what it is because we just see the waveform. So let's, yeah. let's first listen let's before we talk about it. That's a live recording of a band, yeah. Exactly. There's a lot of things happening. Someone is whistling in the beginning. Yeah. Then uh, there's something which we can't hear on the speakers, which is in the bass range, obviously. So I don't get any of those informations from the waveform. I can see where the con cowbell is. Yeah. And maybe the guy is talking loud because it's just the loudness of the audio. So but then some sort of scope. Exactly. So what we have here in the editor is on the left side below. Yeah. We can toggle over the view to a spectrogram which shows us what's inside of the audio happening okay so lower parts is the base uh, frequencies the lowest frequencies up there the highest frequencies and the brighter a pixel is the more energy is there so ah, okay. keeping that in mind if we listen again to it we can see where that whistle is already can't we yeah get it <laughs> So we, we run quickly through it so we yeah. can see here the whistle as you mentioned so it's pretty easy here in the mid-range. Yeah. We can see here the cowbell uh, fundamental frequency. Something is happening in the bass range yeah. here. Someone's talking here. I can I can see that you learn it quite quickly. Yeah. And here are the S's of the guy because those are the, the S's are treble. Yeah. That, 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 the top sibilance Exactly. Yeah. So we can see all that. And then um, we can have uh, a selection inside of this audio. So I can select frequencies in, inside there with paint tools below here. Okay. So like I can paint here the whistle. <laughs> this is where the wizardry starts. <laughs> so and then I can play the selection and just hear that. That's so clever. <laughs> yes. That's it's just amazing. Yeah, it's really... Uh, it's really isolated, that, that, that sound. It, uh, and everything else, literally everything else is gone. Yeah, it's like we can... Do that again? Uh, hmm? Do that again? Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, what Absolutely we hear amazing. is the fundamental frequency of the whistle. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and it's quite isolated because this is like a flexible filter what we are selecting. Right, so you can okay, do whatever yeah. you want with it. And then there are different tools to paint. Uh, I can make a much quicker and more accurate selection with the Magic Wand tool. Okay. So it takes with one click the whole selection. Right, so you're not losing maybe some of the close frequency ranges that you do want. Yeah. You're isolating the literally the frequencies you don't want. So it can see an event which is like the whistle, which yeah. is an easy example. Um, if I click a second time, it detects the harmonics inside of uh, the, the audio okay. of the whistle. So now I have the full whistle. Ah, you hear all the top end. Yeah, it has much more treble now, no? it's yeah. just the full event. Yeah. I can save that now and I have just the whistle as an audio file. If, if you, you want wanted to capture that single thing. Exactly. Wow. If you That's want cool. to have that, you can do that. that is cool. or, or you can remove that, so you Which remove Which is what you'd want to do, yeah, really, exactly. in a lot of situations. You've yeah. got clicks or scratches or noise or somebody coughs um, in a recording that you don't. And actually, where I can see this being a really useful tool, the removal tool, uh, for musicians and people that are likely to watch my channel is say for example you're in the studio and you're playing an acoustic guitar part and you've, you've got the movement scratching string sound yeah. between the between fret chords, noise and all this fret yeah. bars fret noise sorry yeah. yeah fret noise you could actually isolate that and remove that yeah professionals 
do this, so they use our software too. Also, you can get rid of mouse clicks in the vocals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of that stuff. So it's also a music application. Right. Yeah. Oh, I wish Radio 2 would use it in the UK because there's a doctor, Sarah Jarvis, that goes on to um, a medical program every every Monday lunchtime, and the clicks and clacks in her mouth make like I have to turn it off it's the total opposite opposite to ASMR for me it's I, I can't stand to listen to it so that's a really useful tool that really is okay so can we hear it with that whistle taken out yeah let's do that so on the right side I have all my modules all my plugins you can think of so there are different um, uh, algorithms for removing any kind of problem so and spectral repair is the one you can uh, make a spectral selection, okay. a spectral selection to vanish. So it looks around the selection yeah. to make uh, an artificial signal or to lower the selection to match the outside of the selection. And oh, like this, okay. it gets invisible. And if it's invisible, we can't hear it because it's covered by the yeah. It's masked by the so other frequencies. So it actually recreates the gap effectively that it's yeah. taking out as well. Wow. We could also just load again so it's black in there, but that would be. Um, then uh, missing frequencies. Yeah, and then we would hear the filtering. Yeah, so yeah. let's do that. Press oh. render here. And now we can't see it. <laughs> and let's see if we can't hear it. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Absolutely gone. Like my mind. Blown away. It, it's funny That's that incredible. you mentioned the, the BBC and those clicks up uh, which which are not cool when you're listening to it. So we invented in 2007 the first version of RX because all the people went to MP3 and yeah. all the DJs got their vinyls and they wanted to get away with the crackle and Crackles, clicks. Yeah, so that yeah. was the initial thing. And then the movie industry catch it up. Oh, we could use it for mouse clicks to, uh, to get the recording on set better. So yeah. that was like the initial start. And now we are 12 years on the market. And wow. yeah, we're the industry standard in Hollywood everywhere. Yeah, so you could use it for, for, um, for example, uh, for voice work, so if it, when I'm recording a video, um, if there's noise like guitars and things like that in the background, where people are uh, being inconsiderate about the fact that we're not supposed to be playing guitars out here, um, <laughs> then we could actually just remove, isolate, and remove that. Yeah, exactly. We can focus on the dialogue. I yeah. can show you an example. Yes, um, please. So we have different uh, processing. So here's, for example. A heavy ambience we can see that the noise in the image is also background noise where it was recorded that was heavy traffic in a city let's have a listen it's nice kind of wish we had done it sooner yeah you can hear that rushing sound in the background yeah can't you? and there's much more the low end which we can't hear on the speakers now but the audience will if they have high quality speakers they will do, yeah. so uh, I could use now the modules here but we have up here a repair assistant okay so which is like uh, a smart a helping algorithm which can look for you and you tell it I want to have the dialogue clear or the music if you have the guitar or something yes. to have that stand out in the audio and then it starts and analyzes and looks for clipping clicks hum noise and background noise yeah and it then makes a suggestion of all the modules inside which are for this processing to make okay. a processing change for you without knowing even the software Fantastic. And talking of which, is this available for PC as well as Mac? Yeah, it's uh, Windows and Mac OS, of course. So Fantastic. We on both so we can use it for either. Yeah, we also have other software like Ozone for mastering and mixing, so, but this will probably be too long to talk about all this. Well, so. maybe we can do a separate one on Ozone at some point yeah, in time. That would be great. I'd love to do that, sure. Let's have, a, let's have a see how that's come out. So now there comes uh, three options I can choose from. I can preview them here. I can compare them with the original, but let's just take the first one render. So now it will do its job and apply the processing we will see now that it changes on the image and um, let's listen what happened afterwards it's nice kind of wish we had done it sooner and before again wow. it's nice kind of wish we had done it sooner that background ambience you can see that it's gone visually so you know that it's gone and then you listen to it and the audio is exactly what you're expecting from what you see on yeah. the scope that's amazing we, so you could go to the absolute nth degree though and make it sound almost unnatural and just remove all noise yeah. other than the speech yeah let's say uh, you don't want to have it in the um, the city but in an airplane yeah then uh, you can go further the repair assistant is a bit um, uh, taking care that you have a bit of the noise because it maybe fits to the video and you don't want to go too far. Yeah. i show you how far I could go if I do it manually. So here I have the, a denoiser which detects automatically 
um, the voice and it's just two faders that I told you it's pretty easy so you just put down the noise all the way down press render and you see it gets oh, dark wow and let's listen to that it's nice kind of wish we had done it sooner so it's way too far but you can yeah, see how powerful it is it in detecting really, the voice yeah. And it doesn't not sound like a voice, but it's it, you can hear that it's really squashed everything out other than the voice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, I show you something what you mentioned in the other video, like uh, rebalancing a final track, a mastered mixed track that we can also use this technology yeah. to raise the vocal levels, adjust the bass level, whatever. Um, so I have here an example uh, which I recorded a live band, and what happened is. The bleed of the guitars w was so much on the vocal that I couldn't raise it to an extent I wanted to have it. Talking of bleed on guitars, do you think that if I was to use this software on this audio recording, I could remove those guitars in the background? Yeah, sure, because we have a lot of dialogue, so you can move it down 10 dBs or more. We'll make that happen. Here's an example. He's playing now, and I'm going to use this software, and I'm going to remove it here. And now you can hear me, but you can't hear the guitar playing in the background. Fantastic. Was that amazing? Very spectacular. Amazing. There it is. Take the software off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, speaking guitar is always too loud, yeah, yeah. but it has to be up to 11. That's right. Um, so, let's listen to. <laughs> always too loud. <laughs> guys, <laughs> could you mind, please? Uh, so, let's listen to the track, how it was mixed, yeah. because I didn't have the software to adjust. Yeah, now actually I'm going to disagree. I don't think the guitars are too loud at all, but I'm a guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're right, you're right, absolutely. So you can actually rescue that post-mastering, if you like. Yeah. Let's have a listen. Also, if we have a, an old tape. So what it is, I told you we have rocket science technology behind it. This is all very yeah. complex, but it's an easy user interface. So what I have here is a four-track mixing desk you can think of. Yeah. Which. Uh, makes you uh, enables you to adjust the voice, the bass, the percussion, and anything else in that track. So what I want to do here is to raise the voice like 8 dBs. I let it do its job, and now it's looking for all the components of a voice, of the bass, of the percussion, and they divide it and they remix it actually. Right. And you can see here at some parts it raises the volume. This is just the vocals. You can see where, it's, where the singing is now. Yeah. Let's listen. Now you can't hear enough of the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> we, we need to learn guitars. So yeah, you have yeah. guitar fader. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe next update. So next update. Anything we train would be possible. Yeah. And um, for those of my friends out there wishing to buy this software, what what price point is it at? We have three versions. Okay. Uh, we have an entry level Elements version for 129 euros or dollars. Wow. Um, we have the standard version with. Uh, which enables you to draw inside there, yeah. have all the mouse de-click stuff for music production, which is uh, about 400. Right. And then we have the professional with all the advanced stuff for the Post Pro Studios, yeah. which is about 1,400. Right. And so that's the stuff that the Hollywood yeah. studios are using. Yeah. But for just over 100 euros, you can get this kind of magic. That's yeah. an incredible price. And you can try it uh, also uh, like 10 days if yeah. you download it and see if it works for you, but it will. <laughs> right, I'll make sure that there's a link to the trial in the description down below. So go and go and try that trial out, and I think, well, I know one thing's for certain, I'm gonna be getting a copy of this, because for my video work, this will be absolutely astounding, because the amount of times, that, and here, I've been doing a lot of handheld radio mic stuff, and sometimes you get little glitch noises in yeah. with, the, with that moving, and or you haven't pointed it at somebody's mouth, and so if you amp the whole level up you get a lot of background noise yeah. so i could remove that again so this is going to be revolutionary to my sound if my videos don't sound so much better after this i fully expect there to be some complaints in the description box down below so yeah. i'm accepting that <laughs> it's amazing i'll show you a last example yeah, before we do. yeah before you move on here at tgu so i have here an example we can see it's that is really clipped the audio, so it's a square yeah, wave. So yeah. all this, it was not well gain staged. That's my worst error. Yeah, I'll always um, I, 
I'm really careful now to make sure I turn the, the uh, gain stage down. And one of the things I liked about the Spire was that automatic level setting yeah. that we talked about. But with me, I've, ha I've ruined so many videos because one of my audio tracks is just too loud. And what I've often done is when I'm speaking on a lapel mic, and I'm also playing guitar mic'd up through a, through a speaker cabinet, when I then play the, um, the guitar, it completely over, overpowers the audio mic, yeah. so the, the, the vocal mic, so this would be able to rescue that. Yeah, it would be able to rescue that, exactly. That's what I'm showing now. Also, there's a lot of background noise, which is not noise, right. but uh, unwanted events. Okay. One, two, three. So, probably that theater stage or something. Someone's laughing in the audience. Yeah. There, something's going on on the stage. It's clipped. So I use now or again the repair assistant because I'm lazy. I tell it I want to have the dialogue better. Yeah. And it anyway looks for me for clipping and everything. And let's see. It says analyzing for anything of those clipping detected, clicks detected, noise detected. Now it's doing its job. Right. To fix it. Wait for it. Previews creation. It's doing a lot of very hard work there, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's much quicker than doing it yourself. So yeah, it's impossible. We'll and now I'll pr press that. render, and we will see what happens. It will reconstruct the waveform. You see, suddenly there, yeah. there's a healthy waveform, and the background noise now will go down significant. Wow. So and now it sounds like this. One, two, three. That is absolutely outstanding, absolutely outstanding. So it, it's almost able to correct nearly every single human error possible. Yeah, I would, I would say we are pretty good at that. But yeah, yeah, there. Will it make me a better guitar player? Uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guarantee button. <laughs> there is a guarantee button. So. <laughs> That is absolutely outstanding, Jurgen. Thank you so much for showing me this today and showing my friends out there as well. I think you'll agree that this software is actually really very special. So, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section down below. Let me know how you get on if you go and do the trial version. And I just want to say a huge thank you to you, Jurgen, again, for showing us this incredible piece of digital wizardry. Well, thank you thank so you much for your kind words and it's for time. It's been an absolute pleasure, my friend. You take care.